Mercedes has just unveiled the new Mercedes-Benz Concept CLA. They call this a concept, but this is definitely one of these cars that is going to go into production, looking very, very close to this. And personally, I think this is such an improvement over the EQ series that we've seen from Mercedes in, in terms of design. And I think that has to do with this is actually coming out as an internal combustion engine and an EV. So you have both in one design. But what we're going to do in this video is, of course, have a look at this design. I want to talk to you about why I think this is such a better design than the EQ sedans that we've seen so far from Mercedes to show you from front, side, rear, and also the interior what's going on with this new concept CLA. But first of all, Let's have a look at some of the spec and tech. Let's get to know this car a little better from this article from Car and Driver. Linked down below if you want to go and check this out. So there's a lot to cover here. So aside from the usual concept car excess, you're probably looking at the electric version of the 2025 Mercedes-Benz CLA four-door sedan. And that you can see right here. Its rear-mounted motor, two-speed transmission, and 800-volt architecture should deliver better efficiency than current EVs, enabling some 400 miles of range. So we're getting up there now with the range numbers of new EVs when new technologies come out. So they say it's close to production, suggests the element seen here will appear in the upcoming full redesign of the CLA. And I honestly think this looks really good. There are just a couple of things in the front end that we need to talk about in just a minute. Production of the new electric luxury car will commence in late 2024, suggesting the final product will be the 2025 Mercedes-Benz CLA for the US market. The concept features a broad stance and six spoke 21 inch wheels with two 55 millimeter wide tires up front and two 85s in the rear. I'm not sure if that's gonna make it to the production version of an EV because EVs need to have a little thinner wheels if you wanna get 400 miles of range, but it would be very cool to see this type of stance on the uh, internal combustion engine version with 285 21s in the rear. Design highlights include a beautifully sculpted shark nose with a prominent undercut and uh, smooth flanks with a flowing Coke bottle shape. Its hood is also quite long for an EV. And that is the key element here, why this car looks a lot better than what we've seen from the EQ series so far. And as I say here, yeah, that's uh, because they plan to offer ICE engines as well. The EV will be offered in a single motor rear wheel drive and dual motor all wheel drive variants, but Mercedes was not ready to tell us if the internal combustion engine will be front drivers like the current CLA or rear wheel drives. It will be cool to see an all wheel drive CLA internal combustion uh, powered. Power comes from a rear mounted motor that makes 235 horsepower and two speed transmission is also um, installed here on this concept because this enables better efficiency over a wider range of speeds. The concept also features a next generation heat pump that not only conveys powertrain heat to the cabin, it also extracts air heat from the outside like a household heat pump even in the winter some pretty cool technology here and as i, as I said before they suggest 400 miles of range 800 volt architecture allows dc fast charging at 250 kilowatt which means 200 miles of range in about 15 minutes here in the US. The tracks with the car, car's proportions with features a wider stance, a long wheelbase and shorter overhangs than the current CLA. And I also think that this stance look pretty good. We do have this sloping rear end here with some interesting graphics. We're also gonna have a look at these shoulder lines that is a new implementation of how to uh, emphasize the shoulder lines in, in a car that I don't think I've seen before. Now the interior, Yes, we do have the super screen. So the instruments and infotainment subscreens occupy their usual places, but the panel continues uninterrupted to the passenger side. However, the integration of this is it's pretty cool for having just a big screen across the entire dash because they put some effort into making it look nice and that's all I'm asking for. So the concept had few physical controls and system only operated in a demo mode that made it impossible to evaluate how this actually works. But looking at this interior here, it's clear that this is very, very close to the production car. Now, the cool thing is they do have some very interesting features in the interior, even though it is a big, big screen. For example, the large protruding rotary climate dials near the end point of, of the screen 
screen. So one right next to the driver, one right uh, next to the passenger which you grasp and rotate to adjust the temperature. And these are massive with the readout embedded in the center screen. But the air doesn't emerge from them. It passes out through slots embedded in the secondary dash behind the floating screen. And those vents are slotted to mimic the lamella structures on the undersides of mushrooms. So details like this, very cool integrated. You have it here, down here, and also in the speakers as well, this similar pattern. So this is likely to be what the next CLA was going to look like. And it's also level three autonomous driver ready, as they say. And that's pretty much all the information we have so far on the next generation CLA. There are a lot of questions here, as you can see, if you want to go and read this full article in all its details, you can go and check that out linked down below. But now let's jump in to Photoshop here and let's have a look at this Mercedes CLA. So here's what I think happened when Mercedes were transitioning into EVs with their first uh, EQ models. They kind of panicked. They wanted to make a great product when it comes to EVs, meaning that they wanted to have the range on point and so on. So the design suffered a little bit with the EQS, for example, and the EQE sedans. But here, it's starting to feel like they're starting to get uh, an, an identity, a much stronger identity for their EVs. And I think this is a gorgeous design because I think, as I said, it's partly because this is also going to be an internal combustion engine. We do have these typical Mercedes lines in the hood that was first introduced in the first generation Mercedes SLK. These are a couple of lines that I love that they implement on, on the hoods of the cars because it gives it a more muscle looking hood. And then we have this strong cut line where the graphic starts. And this reminds me of the concept car that they recently showed, the integration or, or the outline for this piece right here, housing the headlights. It looks pretty similar to the concept, but here it looks definitely a lot more production ready in my opinion. The thing with the front end though, that is pretty crazy when it comes to Mercedes. Can you count how many stars you see in the front end of this Mercedes? There are a lot. First of all, these obvious ones right here in the headlights. Then we have the big Mercedes logo right here. We have another logo up top here. And then you have about 5,235 small little stars that light up right here in making up the grill. And I'm pretty sure that this mustache that we have going around this is also illuminated when it's dark out. But overall, these proportions of the front end of, the, of this new Mercedes I think it looks good. Maybe this cut line here, it feels like this top part, as you can see right here, this part going above it and everything underneath it feels almost like two different cars. It feels like this cut line is maybe a little too strong to have in the same front end of the same car. But overall, as I said, a massive improvement in my opinion over uh, the EQE and the EQS. Now looking at the side view, this is where it gets really interesting because these proportions do not look like internal combustion, uh, like EV proportions. It looks more like internal combustion proportions. And that is because as I said, they're going, they're planning to uh, make this with internal combustion engines as well. The cool thing here though, is we still have this sloping roof line that we have on the current CLA, as you can see going right here, with a slight up curve right before it ends. And then we have this sloping rear end as well, very typical Mercedes these days to have this, with the black graphics at the bottom, cutting out some of this volume or the height that we have in the center right here. But the coolest thing here is the implementation of the shoulder line. So I haven't seen Mercedes or pretty much any manufacturer make this type of shoulder line where you have physical graphics in the shoulder itself. So you have one right here uh, stretching from the taillights, which has a similar design or implementation housing as we have in the front end. And then you have the same line cutting in here. And I do believe that these pieces are also illuminated because you have the same uh, feature going from the front end light bar stretching across in here. And then the rest of the surfacing here, as you can see, very, very clean. There's not a lot going on here. We do have a key line cutting here at the bottom. I would maybe want to have this sit a little higher to reduce some more of this weight, maybe sit somewhere up here and then have a connection to this line in the back. Right now it sits down here. It still has a connection, as you can see, to this lower section in the bumper, but I would have liked to have this line in the center between the axle be connected with the top line instead of the bottom line 
in the bumper to further give it a more athletic look. But overall, nicely done. I'm not so sure about these wheels having them covered up and a lot more stars as you can see right here. But they're 21 inches and as I said, 285 millimeter white tires in the back is going to give it a nice stance as you can see right here in this three quarter rear view absolutely beautifully done by um, mercedes these this exterior design i'm happy to see that they're starting to find a unique brand new identity for, I, I think this is going to morph into the, their the other cars in their lineup as well with this type of very subtle side uh, surfacing and also the surfacing overall in the rear end with one single actually two single lines here one up here which we talked about in the side view and then one up top with this the sloping rear end as you can see right here illuminated everything we have a light bar here in the back as well and as you can see this then continues into the rear shoulder line right here not so sure about this piece up here this canopy or this completely open roof that is one detail that is most likely not going to make it into production for a simple reason that it is probably pretty unsafe if you flip this car over and have everything be completely glass without any structures behind it but maybe i don't know maybe mercedes has come up with some extremely strong pillars here and extremely strong glass to solve that issue i'm not so sure i also like this subtle little ducktail that we have here and this color is just absolutely stunning as well not so sure why these are white in the rear these should be probably be red if they are tail lights not so sure if, if they maybe turn red when you turn the car on or something like that you can see that we have a very subtle diffuser in the lower section i hope that they're gonna put the exhaust pipes on the internal combustion and have them be visible because it just adds to the sportiness of this car last but not least let's have a look at this interior and as i said this is also a massive improvement in my opinion over what mercedes is doing with this big organic floating i'm not sure what what hyper screen or something like that which they call it that they have in the eq models this looks a lot cleaner than that because look at this we have starting in the door panels here we have some different materials you can see the uh, the door handle right here you have this mushroom uh, design that we talked about in the beginning also looks like a vintage microphone to me looking very nice and that comes back all over this interior here in the center as well the pedals have some similar texture to it and the vents themselves so we have the vent controls as we talked about being these rotary dials right here physical dials then you have the temperature in the middle so you have some physical dials here and i hope this makes it into production i would actually like to see a lot more physical uh, buttons and dials knobs than we have here but you know this is the times we live in we have a ma massive screens that is the way to go these days but uh, when it comes to that as far as we can take that design i think this interior looks pretty good you can see the vents the mushroom shape going on down here underneath uh, the big screen steering wheel looks super fancy this looks a lot more conceptual than the rest of the exterior for example i don't think we're gonna have this 3d effect here in the middle of the steering wheel even though it would be cool to see something like that in production but other than that a very interesting concept from mercedes and as i said this is a concept that is very very close to production specifically when it comes to the exterior and i would be very surprised if the new cla looks much different than this and i think that is a good thing